Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Halloween Spotlight Collab Challenge. If you guys missed last week we did graveyard, so go check out my video. It's going to be linked in the description box. But here are my tips prepped. Now, this week's theme is Nightmare Fuel. Now, here's, my, here's the thing that fuels my nightmares. Possibly falling into a snake pit. Listen to me, I will slit my throat before I sit around waiting to find out which snake gets me. And the and the chooser of this theme is the amazing Sierra creator and founder and visionary of Criminal Claws. I'll be talking about her throughout the video, but um, yeah, she chose it cause she a twisted person. And yeah, so I barely molded this poly gel. It's from Hermosa, which is a brand I think um, from Amazon and I wanted to create a bit of dimension so I left it light at the bottom kind of like how snakes are they tend to be lighter at the bottom and then I added some savvy line yellow at the top like scraping it across and I've cured the gel it is worth mentioning that once I cure the poly gel I cleanse it because it has that sticky inhibition layer and you don't want to be drawn over that so now I'm just going to draw the pattern of the snake's skin like you like it just they all have their unique pattern don't it so here is my girl's um IG where you can just see a bunch of information again she is a brand so do go and check her out but I thought it'd be cool there there goes her face that's her face that's her face <laughs> that's her face um, I thought it'd be cool to just scroll down like look at this this is probably this was a set that she did from last year's Halloween spotlight collab give me witchy vibes um, and this is the set that she did last week. So I just thought we'd go through her Instagram, like a couple of pictures, like show the love, show the support. I want you guys to go there and do the same. Um, yeah, man, it's all her stuff. So I'm taking this brush and I'm using it to feather out a little bit of the gel because even though I drew the pattern on, I did not cure it. So I've always kind of done this technique of feathering out to create detail and dimension, but I've only ever just now found the perfectest brush to do it, AliExpress. Look at this twisted toy. What? I think I didn't watch her do this, which I should go and watch that video because I'm going to need to know. Is it modeling gel like or acrylic or what should be doing? I'm adding just a tinge of green, which nobody but me can actually tell is there. Lisa, move on. Ugh. Now I'm adding a bit of red bean poly gel from Gershon to create the next snake. Oh, anyway. And check out the oh the glitter, the butterfly, the everything. So yeah, I just thought it'd be fun if her looks just kept popping up. Like this one is. Ugh, this marble and these rhinestones though. Um, yeah. Forget you and your damn theme, Sierra. Had me looking at these photos and then getting the shakes and sweating and heart beating fast and ooh, girl, I could just strangle you. But not this little guy. Look at his piece. Yeah, but that's the whole point, right? Nightmare fuel. That's the whole point. It's got to get you sweating in the pits. It's got to get you sweating in the butt crack. If it's not, then it's not the stuff that fuels your nightmares. And it all came out of this person's head. Look at that. It came out of her. She's just cute and crazy. Cute and cr cute and twisted. Which apparently is the kind of people we're looking for for the challenge. So if you would like to join the Halloween Spotlight Collab Challenge, <laughs> there'll be details at the end of the video. So I'm using this color from um, Mer uh, Model Ones, it's called Merida, um, to create the scales. Now you did see that I smeared a different, like a darker shade of the exact same red bean over top. That was from that Model Ones palette um, that is sitting there. That is actually from a haul video that I need to put out, but anyway, another time. So I'm using Merida to create um, the pattern on the snake. Now, once I've done all these little rectangles, I'm gonna cure them and then outline them ever so slightly with black to create the snake. Now I'm showing you everything that I'm doing on one nail, but I will be doing it on all five nails. And we're supposed to create a different look for every nail, but the way the snakes are gonna be coiling around all five of these nails, they essentially all look different. So I hope it, you know, it, it passed the challenge. So here I am, I am adding the black, and this is Savvy Land's black, by the way. It's the same black I used on the yellow snake. Oh, I was doing this, and man, I was, oh, I was getting so much of the shakes because I was like, why does this start to look sort of real, and I want to... Oh, oh. Yo, I made that black poly gel. Shout out to Tessa, man, you know? 
Um, so here goes my girl on YouTube. Go find her, go search her, go like, go subscribe, go spam, go comment, engage with the videos, engage, engage, engage. I need to go engage. Cause remember when I told you guys, I was like, kind of like not recording videos lies. I was but I wasn't posting. I also really wasn't watching. So I got to go and support my people. But yeah, man, these are all her sets. Wonderful, wonderful sets. Things that she's created using her brand and products. Um, and she's also not afraid to share other products that she's found as well. Um, so that's really cool. You know, if you find something that works for you, share it with your uh, people. So um, I created that black poly gel, uh, by the way, just with regular poly gel. Ooh, Side note, these are some of my favorite videos from Sierra when she used to react to crazy nails that she would find on TikTok. Go do more of this stuff, Cece. Like, I lived for those videos, man. Because I, I remember she had a problem. <laughs> not really a problem. Because she not hate her, as far as I know. But, like, natural nails, gosh. just eh. If you're going to grow them, grow them. If you're going to cut them, cut them. That's what she was saying, I think. I don't know. It's been a while since I watched that video. And then here's a short of her doing the Cards to Cowardly Dog set. But yes, I made that poly gel with just clear Macar poly gel, which is also in a haul video. Um, Savvy Land gel paint. And then I mixed it around. I was very careful about making sure there were no bubbles. And I'm just adding a white detail to it to create another kind of snake. And then I'm doing the same thing. Um, just putting that line in the middle. Um, here's another short that, that snake with the line in the middle. Oh, I saw a video, a national geographic video where that snake was literally just eating a bunch of lizards that had just hatched and were coming from the forest and trying to get to a water supply. Like, why are y'all so, oh, Pac-Man set y'all, y'all wasn't ready. That transition caught you off guard, didn't it? And I cannot wait for Christmas because like, did y'all watch, um, Rudolph, I think that is the um, the abominable snowman that ends up attacking them when they end up to the island of misfit toys. I can be, I could be wrong, but this is my childhood we're talking about, so I don't think I am wrong. Um, I also created this green poly gel too. You're gonna see a video kind of like a little ways ahead, like mm, yeah, of me mixing the poly gel. But this is just again Mar McCart clear and um savvy land green with also savvy land yellow to create that and this is a snake that i saw and i was like oh my gosh it's so pretty i still don't want to meet you in a pit though i don't care how pretty you look again i would end me i would end me before i figured out which snake was coming to get me oh my gosh an anaconda right right mm. because at this point now he's gonna eat me right because do you see anybody else over there looking like a snack or a meal in the pit? No. That's what happens when you're cute and funny. Snakes say like, she a snack and a meal. So I would, I would, I would get eaten in the pit. So yeah, I would just end myself because I don't want to find out. But I know it would be, it would be an anaconda. It would be like once, the, once, because it would be like a couple of anacondas in the pit, right? Because you have multiple snakes or whatever, multiple types, multiple types, multiple of each type. And it's like, okay, cool. They got the little weird snake ball orgy thing happening. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm hungry after mating. Let's eat the girl that looks like a snack and a meal. <sighs> anyway, here I am mixing the poly gel. I added some bronze to create this bronze poly gel that we're going to be using later. And here I'm mixing more of that green because I ran out. And ooh, there's the black that I had mixed. Yeesh. This was so fun to do. And like, I it looks frantic because I've sped it up, but I was mixing it real carefully because I did not want a bunch of air bubbles. This one, I did not have to mix. This is just Gershon. Now the blue snake, least favorite on the nail. But there is a blue snake, I think. I've seen it. I mean, Google, right? I know the internet is a trash can. But I saw it on the internet, so it exists. <laughs> so every time I'm doing this, I just like, piling it on top of, because I snake pit, snakes piled up on each other. To create a bit of dimension, I'm using Born Pretty's, um, I think this is, the color's called Pansy. Yeah, and oh, the amount of times these nails were threatening to fall off of this stand, I should etch the underside of them so they stick better. I didn't, so... So I'm adding just a little bit of detail because the snake, when I saw the blue snake, it had like three or so scales that were kind of like slightly darker than the rest of the, not scales, 
darker than the rest of the pattern. I don't know. But it ended up being my least favorite. Anyway, a pop of color, right? There you go. Um, and I dare not do another black snake, even though that's all I wanted to do. Because at the end of the day, yes, I am afraid of the snakes and the snake pit and everything. But I like black regardless. And I've held a snake before, mind you. Yeah, I have. I should insert a video of that, like me holding the snake. But I will video or picture or something. I've held the snake. It's just the amount of them and being surrounded with no way out. <sighs> yeah. So here I am with this metallic um, poly gel that we just created. And I could be getting the snake type wrong. A python? Is this, is this the pattern for a python? Y'all, you snake lovers out there, I see you, I love you, but please don't get mad at me for the fear that I do have. I'm not trying to villainize the snakes. I believe in an animal rights to just be an animal. Hey, it's an instinctual thing for them. Not entirely sure why humans do what they do, but at least for the animals, it's instinctual. But um, I could be getting this type of snake wrong. It might not even be an actual snake because I did follow this pattern from off some transfer foil in my binder. So please don't come for me in the comment section. But I am drawing on this pattern with the same Savvyland black gel with this beauty gallery of brush that I was gifted. Um, and then I'm gonna use the same little gel brush that I got from AliExpress that I used on the yellow snake to just kind of fade out the spots on this as well. Sorry, the, the splotches, splotch, splooshes, splotches. It's not really a spot in it. Um, anyways, I think this, and I really was excited to do this snake at, at I'm not gonna lie. At the end of it, Still terrified of a pit. Absolutely, freaking lutely Nothing was going to change that. Not a dang thing. However, there was an appreciation for these lovely full creatures, more so than I have ever had. Um, especially when I was painting this one. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful and stunning and just everything that nature intended it to be. But we're not going to hang together in a pit. Even if, even if it's a nightclub and it's called a pit, I'm not going because... The snake's going to be, I don't know. I'm just not going to go. Anyway, so. Here I am feathering it out. God, I had the largest brain fart just then, didn't I? Um, so here I am just feathering it out, right? And then I give it a full cure or whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, notice I did not give those tips a base color. It's the same color the tips were. And I like, I, I don't know if I regret that or not, because in the end, I ended up loving that I didn't do it. But like, it's just a bunch of negative space kind of bothers me for the fact that it's a pit, you know, but any which ways, um, I thought it turned out really, really cute. So I liked it. I like how, and I did, I did, I'm not gonna lie. This was me challenging myself because this was a lot the whole thing was 3d. It really was. So after that, we got five nails. This is what all the five nails are looking like. And I've got to go in there with some top coat. So I get it into all the crevices and I cure for a full 60 seconds. And I also cured all the poly gel for a full 60 seconds. Either a flash cure and then a full cure after, but they were cured for 60 seconds to 90 minutes. Anyway, top coat is the end of the video. You guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Please be sure to check out CC's profile, Criminal Claws on Instagram, Criminal Claws on YouTube, Criminal Claws on TikTok definitely go check it out. Check out the other ladies whose videos I will be linking and I will be highlighting CC's video as the spotlight babe of the week. I don't know what else to tell you guys except to remember to love yourselves, love your nails, and um, think about joining the spotlight collab next, next uh, year. I may definitely be in it and we can get to know each other. I've found some lifelong friends doing this and while I was supporting women, by the way, <gasps> who knew? Anyway, there's, um, <laughs> there's videos and, um, pictures of the finished look. I love you guys so much. Please do not look for a product list. There won't be one. Just get out your favorite products and do your do. I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.